Inter Asia, the most important thing in these three traditions, for example, and all the traditions in Asia, is the opposition between yin and yang, between the female and male part. Male part means the strong part, and the female means, means something soft, active and passive day and night, etc., etc., the opposition. This is the dialectic coming from the uh, dialectic knowledge of the entire Asia. And at the beginning, how to do this in our legs. This is active, this is passive, first. Second, this knee must be active, this must be passive. Same, but passive. With the pelvis, is the same. This part needs to be stronger because we have everything is in cross here. One, two. After body is here, and because this is strong, this needs to be light, and this needs to be strong. One of the opposition. When you change your place, you need to do the same oppositions. Uh, in is going to young space, and young to in opposition. Beijing Opera, I'm doing this very slow, to see the dance between these oppositions. Second thing is uh, probably in Commedia dell'arte. Uh, we have different characters in Commedia dell'arte. We have uh, masters and servants. All the masters, I mean the young one, are very high position, like this. At the same time, everything is lazy. And never uh, you never need to use the uh, sympathy between two parts of the body. If you will do like this, this is very boring. You need to have something more, like this. Same, strong position, but here. And when I'm walking, for example, I need to change my position, otherwise it will be boring. After, I'm doing the same. This looks very, very near to the Asian tradition, but it's a different style. When I'm a lady, for example, with a big costume, when I walk here, there is something like a symmetry, but when I stop, this need to be a symmetry. When I'm watching here, one is shaking because of the reality. And this part is here. The other part. And look at this is strong, this is light. Same same thing. Just because we need to be in something like a balance. If you are watching the servants, the most uh, interesting servant here is for example Zani. Zani is walking like this. Look at the same rules. Same one and two, three. Four, five, and the same oppositions. Everything is harmonized. The second one, the female characters. For example, this is Servetta. This is the first position of Servetta. One, two, three, like this. She's walking like this. And after, that's me. When I change my hands, I need to change my position. Otherwise, it will be not very good for the audience. Like this is impossible to do, because everything is locked, you can't move. You can try by yourself someday to see how everything is locked if the opposition is the opposite. Uh, 
um, the position is the opposite. If we are doing, for example, the most important servants, uh, one of them is Alekino, same. The first position of Alekino is here, one, two, and after is coming the stick, like this, and the hand like this. And he's walking, one, and here is changing, two, and three back, and four, five, different position. Same. Um, we have this in our real life because we are walking like this one and two. Everything is in, in opposition. Otherwise, you will fall down. Only the imbeciles are going like this. You can use this if you will play something like a, a stupid man or like this. You know, there are many, <coughs> many walks in the American musicals like this. When we're doing ta da da da, -de -de -de, this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> Great. And next one is the opposition in the classical pantomime. Because the classical, the classical pantomime is something like a copy of the real life, but orchestrated. And the most important uh, <coughs> example of this is how to push and how to pull. At the beginning we have a straight body. After we are looking where is the where is our enemy, for example some probe of the stage. One, two, and everything is normal. And after when I like to push, I will push here. It's impossible. After one, two, and then this the same in my real life. Three, four, and back. And from here, this is strong, this is light. This is strong, and this is more light. And this is also strong, for one. And when I change, for example, the position, same, you can see, one is light, this is strong. After this is strong, this must be light, like this. By the end, and after I release, after this position. Same with the rope, for example. Here is the rope. One, two. What I'm doing here? One, same positions here. Strong. Everything is now here is strong. But after, this is light. And here, change. This is light. This is strong. After and back. One, two, three, four. Look at the shoulders are very important here. One, two, three, four. And the opposite is here. Strong, because someone is pulling me. And here is light, because I have not energy to fight against him. And back. Same with this one. This is same, very similar to the other one. Here, one and two. Now, he is moving my butt. There, here, and by the end. <coughs> And back. I need to uh, There are many, many oppositions, but uh, when we are doing the dramaturgy of the body, uh, on the stage needs to be based on oppositions. Otherwise, it will be very boring. Ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta. Here, to pretend something, to speak something, you know, this position of amateurs. Speaking, they are going forward to tell you something special. And these gestures we know, as uh, Sergio says, from the classical theater, classical opera, for example, Aida or Tosca or different. <laughs> <laughs>